Hello, my soul babies, and welcome back to another Fitness Friday. Ooh, hey, look at that. Anyways, in this video today, Suki and I are going to be talking to you guys about how to get a smaller waist. So I have a lot of people asking me how they can get a tiny waist or a smaller waist or a flat stomach. And I'm here today to answer all of your questions about this and to clear up a little bit of myths about this as well. I'm a certified personal trainer. I'm an exercise physiologist, so I know what will actually work and what won't. I've seen a lot of videos about this and a lot of information on the internet about this topic. And I, uh, to put it nicely, think a lot of it is bullshit. So I wanted to clear it all up today and tell you guys what's real and what's fake and what will actually work and what is a scam. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I don't do that scam shit. Let's get one thing straight, okay? You cannot change your bone structure, ultimately, unless you go get surgery. I actually don't even know. Is there surgery for that? I don't even know, but that's one thing that you cannot do. So everybody has a different body type. Everybody is made differently. And I think a lot of people base their goals off of somebody who has a completely different body type than their own. It can be discouraging. I have people that tell me, I'll never be as small as this girl, or I'll never look like this girl, or I'll never have a stomach like her. And not to be cheesy or anything, but you should just love whatever body type you have and embrace it. Because if you waste your life away wishing that you look like somebody else, or wanting something that you can't have because everybody wants what they can't can't have, you're gonna regret it one day. So realize right now, if you haven't already, right now, I want you to understand and realize that no matter what body type you have, it's beautiful. What you should focus on mainly is not looking like somebody else, but being the best version of yourself that you can be and being the healthiest that you can be and the strongest that you can be. Let me just go over a couple of things that I've seen in videos on how to get a flat stomach, how to get a smaller waist, etc. Let me talk about some of the things that I've seen in these videos that I don't agree with. One thing is waist trainers. They do not work. If you haven't seen my miss video yet, I'm gonna link it up here, but I explain exactly why they don't work in that, so I don't wanna get too into that right now. Just check that out after this if you want and you can find out why they don't work. Waist trainers, wraps, any of that stuff is bull the next thing is spot reduction. So spot reduction is the belief that you can lose fat in one specific area of your body just by doing exercises for that area. If your diet isn't that nutritious right now, you're eating a gallon of ice cream every night, I hope you're not, and you're not doing much cardio or you're not doing that much exercise in general, doing 100 crunches a day isn't gonna get you abs if you're in a caloric surplus, which means that you're consuming more calories than you're burning. So what you do wanna do is get into a caloric deficit, which is you consume less calories than you burn, you burn more calories than you consume, and you're doing cardio. So those are the two ways to get into a deficit, cardio and getting your nutrition in check. Okay? Now I'm not saying don't do ab exercises, of course. You want to train your core. That way you can get stronger and build up the muscle at least two to three times a week. Don't work it every single day though because you want to give your muscle groups at least 48 hours of rest in between working them. So it's really important to have core strength too because there's so many benefits of it and a lot of people with weak core start to develop other problems such as lower back pain, all these other things. Okay, so now that we got all that out of the way, I wanna show you guys some of the core exercises that I like to do and also show you a lot of mistakes that I see when people are doing ab exercises so that you can avoid these mistakes and work them properly. Let's get started. So I am gonna show you some of my favorite core exercises, like I said, and I'm also gonna show you how to contract and properly work your core because I think a lot of people don't know how to actually do it and often they feel it more in their lower back or in their hip flexors and you're gonna feel it a little bit in those muscles too because they're assisting, but you should feel it mostly in the core. So first thing you wanna do is make sure there's no space between your lower back and the ground. So you wanna suck your belly button in, kind of like you're sucking in if you're posing for a picture. We all do it. You wanna brace your stomach like you're about to get punched. You know how you like brace for impact if you're preparing for somebody to punch you? You kinda wanna 
contract your core like that. Once you've done that, then focus a lot on holding that and keeping the core really tight the whole time. Don't let your lower back come up off the ground. Try your best to keep the core contracted throughout the entire exercise. Let's get into it. Okay, so the exercises we're gonna be doing are mostly leg raises, but they're gonna be kind of different types. So we're gonna do normal leg raises, and then we're gonna do V-ups with the weight, and then we're gonna do alternating V-ups. So each one, it kind of like progresses it, so each one is harder and harder and more and more advanced. So based off of your level of fitness, do whichever one is best for you. Another thing when you're doing these exercises, make sure that you're laying your head down completely in between the reps because you don't want to strain your neck. If you try to leave your head up the whole time, that's gonna put a lot of strain on your neck. And the other thing is make sure you're not pulling with your neck. You want your core to be doing all the work. So you don't want to be pulling your neck up. You want to be pulling yourself up with your core, okay? Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative because I just like to clear up any misleading information because there's a lot out there and I'm always gonna keep it real. That's why I wanted to make this video because I get asked a lot about how to get a tiny waist. All you can really do is lose body fat percentage and work on building up muscle and work with what you got, love what you got. Don't fall for any scams out there. Be careful who you trust on the internet. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. Make sure you subscribe for more videos on mental, physical, and spiritual health and to see more Mama Soul. If you guys like videos like this, comment below about what else I should talk about. Happy Fitness Friday. I will see you next time. Deuces.